from the June 2018 issue for its turbocharged 2.3-liter inline 4 powers everything from the 280 HP Explorer to the 350 HP Focus RS. Variations of this Honeywell MGT22 turbocharger feed that 4-cylinder, producing peak boost levels between 16.4 and 22.6i depending on the vehicle. A pass through the band saw reveals its inner workings. A twin scroll design, one, separates the hot exhaust gases from sequentially firing cylinders, harnessing the energy in the exhaust pulses to reduce turbo lag as they spin the cast nickel alloy turbine wheel, two, and continue through the stainless steel turbine housing, three, and toward the downpipe. At high loads, this housing can reach 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit and glow red hot. Connected by the common shaft, four, the turbine and compressor wheels spin as fast as 200,000 revolutions per minute. The semi-floating copper alloy journal bearing, five, manages the axial and radial loads of the shaft, playing a critical role in turbo efficiency and durability. A coolant jacket, six, extracts heat from the center housing to keep oil from coking around the bearing. In exotic turbo systems, more costly ball bearings reduce friction so the rotating components spool up more quickly and with a greater efficiency. Honeywell is also researching oilless air bearings that could further reduce friction. Ambient air enters the aluminum compressor housing, 7, and the machined aluminum alloy compressor wheel, 8 pressurizes it to create boost. The intake air is then pushed through an intercooler to reduce its temperature, thus increasing its density, and driven into the intake manifold. The pressurized intake charge increases the amount of air in the cylinders, which is matched with additional fuel to create more torque and power. Honeywell offers hundreds of wheel profiles to yield an output that matches the automaker's requirements. The wastegate, 9, allows exhaust gases to bypass the turbine wheel, modulating the wheel's speed to control boost pressure. In this pressure-actuated application, boost generated by the compressor is applied to the wastegate actuator diaphragm, 10, sliding the actuating rod, 11, that opens the wastegate. Wastegates can also be vacuum or electronically actuated, the latter allowing more precise control of the boost pressure.